I'm Abdul Rahman from Pakistan and uh, I study in Swinburne and I'm final year uh, electrical and electronic engineering student. My name is Nishantani and uh, I come from India in uh, Swinburne, uh, Swinburne Sarawak and this is my final year. I study international business. My name is Daniel Arif. Uh, I'm from Pakistan. It's my final year, final SEM in Swinburne. I'm taking electrical electronics engineering. Supervisor, uh, Dr. Manas, he asked, uh, the, uh, he told us that there is an upcoming competition by the name of IEEE's uh, IPM Smart Plan Challenge. So he asked us if you are interested, we can take part in that. Uh, we then decided to go for it, and um, uh, we uh, we always have a theme because uh, we uh, come back from a country uh, where there is a uh, power crisis, uh, not not uh, new from a long time, and uh, we always have uh, have this uh, feeling to to somehow solve these issues. Uh, for that reason, we chose this uh, project, and uh, it was uh, our supervisor who told us about this uh, about this competition. So we decided to go for it. Imagine an inverted funnel and it's slightly raised from the ground and also the whole collector area of it is uh, completely transparent. So sunlight goes through it, warms the ground beneath, warm ground causes warmer air which causes um, hotter air and hot air rises. The only exit available to the hot air is the tower in the center and that way uh, we create uh, Airflow in the center at the base of the tower, and we put turbines there to harness that wind energy and produce electricity. That's the gist of the idea. Especially in like rural areas and stuff, they'll just go for some, like you know, when it comes to like the monsoon season or anything, then they just go on for like days or weeks with no um, electricity. And um, yeah, so I've, ex I've actually um, witnessed that myself which is uh, why we were inspired and I'm guessing there's a similar situation in Pakistan. Worse. Well, worse. <laughs> yes. Hydro have, truly has the potential to solve the energy crisis uh, as, um, because the fossil fuels will eventually get exhausted maybe in uh, 50 years or maybe 100 years but solar and hydro is, 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 the ultimate, is the ultimate source of electricity which we might see in the future. And uh, we are experimenting with the, the different climate conditions, the different soil conditions and uh, depending on the results we get from this one, we would be able to progress with uh, uh, the bigger model. So yes, we would definitely love to see how it would uh, work out uh, uh, for this model as well as on a larger scale. And like I said as well, the technology is more successful on a bigger scale. So uh, that's what we are hoping to get, go on to the larger size, that's the ultimate idea.